Hi guys! Welcome! If this is your first time tuning in to our channel, my name is Kelly and I'm usually here with my best friend Christina. Unfortunately, since we were not able to film together this week, I'm doing this video for you guys. This is a little bit different than what we typically do on our channel. So if you are coming over here because you discovered this video um, because you love luxury handbags, welcome and I hope you guys will stick around and check out some of our other videos. Most of our content is all about fashion, um, usually affordable fashion, street style, we do hauls, we do lookbooks, we do tips and tricks, and most of the things that we feature are relatively affordable, budget-friendly pieces. However, in those hauls and lookbooks, when we style items, we are always using luxury handbags because that's kind of a passion of mine. That is something that you know I really do love to invest in. Those are my like guilty pleasures. I have been collecting handbags for over 20 years now, so I have accumulated a pretty nice collection, and my collection is always changing and growing. I'm adding things, I'm selling things, but we definitely have had some requests from some of our viewers that they would like to see more of that collection and learn a little bit more about the kinds of handbags. So if you guys are into that kind of thing, I hope you will enjoy this video, stick around, and I'm gonna start with my number one bag right now, and this is just really like a classic bag. So this is a Chanel medium double flap bag in the color beige clear. And this one is one that I recently uh, purchased from Fashion File and it was something that I ended up doing a little bit of a switch. So I had this same exact bag in the jumbo size and I love the bag, I thought it was so beautiful, but I found that for me it wasn't super practical because of the way that the strap length was, the way that it fit on my body. It was a little bit large to be a shoulder bag. Um, and it was too large for me to wear crossbody, so I just didn't find myself using it as much as I wanted to. I feel like if you're going to pay a lot for a handbag, it really needs to be something that you're going to use, at least for me. So I switched it to this medium double flap. Um, it has gold hardware. This is in the caviar leather, and I just really love this bag, and I've already found myself getting so much more use out of this one in the medium size. I like the way that it fits on my body. I feel like it's just a good size for me. It holds basically like a, a regular, like smaller size wallet, my cell phone, and like a lipstick. It's not, you know, really big. I'm not gonna go into a lot of details on this video because I have, you know, 12 bags that I just wanna show you, but you can definitely look up like reviews of the medium flap Chanel bag if you wanna see more about the interior and the wear. I really love this bag. I think it's so classic, it's so pretty. I love the color combination, and I will insert some footage of how it fits on my body. You cannot wear this as a crossbody. That's the only negative I found about this bag. I don't know why they don't make the strap long enough for crossbody, but it is a single shoulder bag only, or you can double up the straps by doing this, and you can have it be um, you know, right underneath your, your armpit area. But yeah, this is definitely my number one right now. So this next bag is one that you really won't see in too many of our videos or anything like that. This one is a little bit small. Um, it's not something that I really carry much anymore, but I had to include this bag because this is the bag that started it all. So this bag is a little mini Chanel bowling bag, and this was my very first luxury handbag. I got this as my birthday present when I turned 21. So this bag is really old. <laughs> I think you could say it's vintage now. And of course, I could never get rid of it. It's super special and sentimental. As you can see, I've always been a huge fan of pink. My parents gave me this for my 21st birthday, and I absolutely love it. I think it's actually like gone up double in value. Um, and it's just a little mini doctor bag. I still feel like it's very fashionable. There's no reason that I, I wouldn't wear it. I just don't tend to like reach for it, but I probably should because it's actually very cute, very fashionable. And my thinking is that I will probably be passing this one down to um, one of my daughters. 
So, and I actually have my oldest daughter, she actually loves pink as well, so I'm pretty sure she's gonna be fighting for this one. But yeah, it's just sentimental, special. You can buy this one pre-loved, I actually have seen it online. Um, and it's just like a really cute classic, and that's the thing about Chanel. When you invest in Chanel, you know that it's never going to go out of style. So here we are, you know, decades later, and this bag is still super on trend. So next I wanted to share with you guys one of my most practical and used bags in my collection. If you've been watching our channel, you've seen our lookbooks, our hauls, you've definitely seen me style this bag quite a bit. And this is the Gucci Disco handbag. This is in the color called Camellia. It's like a nice um, tan type of color, like a nude, but a little bit darker, more on the like tan side. Um, and I love this bag. It's like a little camera style, um, you know, bag, little rectangular shape. It's got this cute little like fringe over here. It holds everything. Honestly, it's small, but it really does hold everything you need. Wallet, phone, some uh, makeup if you need it. And it's got a great shoulder strap. So this can be worn either single shoulder like this, or how I typically wear it is cross body, which I love. So yeah, it's just a great everyday bag. It's super practical and seems to go with everything, so I don't see myself getting rid of this one anytime soon. So another bag that I would highly recommend that I feel like is a classic and super useful is this um, Speedy Bandolier. It's um, monogram is the print, and it's a size 25. And I had um, a classic Speedy in the size 30. Love that bag, I thought it was beautiful, has the same look, I had it in monogram, however, it was just handheld. The Classic Speedy, you know, is just a handheld bag, and I just found that I wasn't reaching for that very often because it's just not as practical for me. So I ended up selling that one and investing in the Speedy B, which is the one with the shoulder strap, and I just use it so much more now. I really like the way it looks with the shoulder strap. It can also be worn crossbody, which is my favorite, honestly. And it's just, it's a good size, it's small, um, sometimes I put a little, um, you know, shaper inside of the bag so that it doesn't crush down, but obviously when it's full, that's not really a problem either. And it holds everything, I mean, really for being a small bag, it just really holds a lot, and it's just a classic shape. You know, you still have the option of carrying it on the arm if you like, but I just love having the strap option. It's definitely made it something that I've used a lot more with the strap. So yeah, this is also a great bag, the Speedy Bandolier, size 25 in monogram. So this bag I actually bought as a travel bag last summer when I was going over to um, Paris. I wanted something that was small, could be worn crossbody, had a zipper closure for safety, and I found this one. This is the Gucci, I want to say it's pronounced Matlasse, Matles. I, I'm totally probably ruining that name, so forgive me for that. But this is just um, a shoulder bag, it's in the white color. And I love this bag. I, I use it so much more than I thought I actually would, but I love the white color. Especially now, I'm really into like the white loafers and the white booties, so I find myself using the white bag a lot. And it's kind of like an off-white shade. It's not, you know, it's definitely not like as white as my blouse is. I love that it has um, this zipper closure with this little tassel here. You know, it makes it great for travel, being able to have that closed up. It has this little like gold chain detail um, and the strap is can be worn single shoulder and can also be worn cross body which I think makes it super practical and functional it's just a really you know great bag and I hope that you know it's a classic I know there's been talk about like some of the Gucci Mott lace line you know maybe not being like in style forever but it's been for several years. I really love it. I have quite a few of my collection, as you're going to see, and I just think they're beautiful bags. I love that, like, chevron detailing. So, yeah, this is one I reach for a lot, especially during spring and summer. And sticking with the Gucci Marmont, this one is the small, and it's in this um, perfect pink color. So this color is not very easy to find. I actually found this one on Nordstrom a while back, and I just fell in love with the shade of pink. Um, it has this cute little like heart detail on the back. It has a little button closure um, and there's a zipper pouch inside. And I just love this bag. Of course, you know, if you've been watching our channel, you know my obsession with all things pink. 
and I love that it has this nice comfortable leather part up here on your strap and then the chain. You can wear this one single shoulder. You can also wear this one crossbody. So it's just a great one. I love this one in my collection. Definitely reach for this one a lot because of course I'm always looking to add a pop of pink to my outfits. So yeah, this is just the small one. It holds everything I need. It's super practical and comfortable and it's another favorite of mine. This is the last of the um, Gucci Marmont collection that I have. And this one is in the larger size. And this color has actually been called uh, porcelain rose. I've heard it called on other websites dusty pink. I call it taupe. I mean to me this is like the perfect shade of taupe which is why I bought it. It's it's not tan, it's not gray, it's kind of like tan and gray fused together to make this great taupey shade which I really love. I especially reached for this a lot in um, fall and winter. Um, so much so that I ended up investing in the belt because I just loved the taupe shade and how it worked with everything. So this one is a bit larger than the pink one. It holds a lot, um, but same concept. It has the gold chain as well as the comfortable, you know, leather on the strap. You can wear it the same way, either single shoulder or crossbody, which I love. And I feel like because it's not a super bulky bag, it's still very comfortable to wear it crossbody. So I got a lot of use out of this one. I just feel like it's a really pretty bag. You also have the option of doing this, which I forgot to mention. You can also wear it this way if you like a shorter strap. And yeah, it's just a really pretty bag. You know, this is another one that I hope sticks around and becomes a classic. I know that with this Gucci um, Marmot line, you know, you don't really know yet, but I feel like they have been sticking around for a while and I think that people just really like it so much that I'm not sure that it's gonna go anywhere. I'm definitely not ready to get rid of any of mine. I really just really like them. I love the chevron. I think it's so pretty. This one also has the cute little heart detail in the back and this color is one that you don't see in a lot of other um, designer handbags. I have not really seen a taupe this beautiful before so I just love it. So this one is a recent addition to my collection. If you guys follow us on Instagram, you will have seen this one quite a few times. This is the Yves Saint Laurent college bag in medium. And I happen to just find it in um, a Saks Fifth Avenue store in this beautiful cognac shade. So I did purchase this one brand new only because I could not find it pre-loved and I love this bag. Now it's almost impossible to find this shade even in a brand new bag. Um, but I just, I fell in love with this shade. I love this like cognac reddish brick color. I think it actually was called brick. Um, it has, it's, it's very similar to the Louis Vuitton pochette Matisse. So it has the same, you know, little handle here. You can hold it this way. It also has the chain strap with the leather part for your shoulder. So you can wear this one single shoulder like this. You can also do it cross body, which is what I like to do uh, with this bag. I just feel like this is such a good bag. What really got me was the color. Um, I just absolutely adore the color. It holds so much. It has a snap closure. It's you know pretty big inside. It's got a little zipper pouch in there. It holds everything I need, and I just think it's such a beautiful bag. Now this one you cannot double up on the straps. These are separate, so you've got um, you know you can either hold it this way. You can actually remove the chain if you wanted to do just handheld, or you can wear it single shoulder or crossbody. But I just think it's a it's a great one. So love this this bag. Beautiful cognac shade. And sticking with Yves Saint Laurent, this is another YSL bag, and this is the Baby Sac Du Jour. Now this one, no surprise, I fell in love with this one for the color. This is um, a dusty rose color. I haven't seen a lot in this shade before. I found this one on Fashion File, so it is pre-loved, but it was in perfect condition and it's just such a pretty bag like I couldn't resist this mauvey pink color um, it's got this little lock here that you can use it's just a really pretty bag it holds a lot it's got the long straps you can either do it handheld this way or you have the option of doing single shoulder like this or my favorite of course crossbody so such a great bag such a pretty color. I actually love the, the size and the style of this bag. So it's definitely a bag that I would be, you know, open to purchasing other colors in the future, maybe like in a black or something neutral. Um, 
a yellow would be beautiful, but yeah, I just love this. This is the baby sac du jour, and for me, it's the perfect size. I really like it, and I love the fact that, you know, it has the crossbody option. So, definitely another one of my favorites. So this is another fashion file purchase that I made a while ago. I was looking for a beautiful, like vibrant red bag. Now I can't say that I use this bag a ton, um, but I just love occasionally having that nice pop of red. Like I feel like something like I'm wearing right now, which is super plain, you put this red against it and it just really pops. So this is a great bag. This is the Givenchy. Um, it's in the sugar goat skin. And this is the Atagonia in small. And it's just, the color is just called red. Um, it has silver hardware and it has this little strap. You can actually use this as a shoulder strap. I don't really love it that way. It's a little bit like, I don't know, it's a little snug and these handles kind of go too close into the armpit, but you could use it if you need it to be, you know, hands-free or doing something. I prefer to use this one this way, which is probably why I don't use it as often as some of my other bags because I definitely prefer a shoulder strap or a crossbody, but I still think it's such a pretty, pretty bag and I like to have, you know, that option of adding a pop of red to an outfit. So this one you will see in some of our lookbooks and stuff when we're looking to add that pop. This is a great bag and I feel like it's just such a pretty like true red. It reminds me of like the perfect shade of red lipstick. So I could not do this video without including at least one Louis Vuitton Neverfull. So I actually have this Neverfull MM size in all three of the prints. I have the monogram, this is the um, Demiere, I believe that's how you pronounce it, Azure, and I also have the Abine. I probably use this one most, believe it or not, you know, being in Florida, we tend to dress very summery um, throughout the year a lot and a lot of lighter colors. You know, I love my like pastels and my pinks. So this color really ends up going with so much and I use it a lot more than I thought I actually would when I purchased it. This was purchased pre-love from Fashion File and I just love this bag. For me, I feel like the MM is a great size. It's not too big but it's not too small. So this is a great travel bag. This is great when, you know, I need to like throw the kids stuff in here. My kids are older, so I don't have to carry a lot, but if I did, you could definitely put like snacks and things in here. I like if I'm gonna take off a sweater or a jacket, I can fit it inside of here. It doesn't have any, you know, real closure except for this little um, thing that you can, you know, do right here, but there's no zippers or anything. So. You know, you have to be careful with that for a travel bag. I do sometimes like to do a zipper for a travel bag, but this is great for just running errands and things like that. You can throw everything inside. I feel like it's just a great classic bag. Everybody needs to have a never full in their collection. Um, super practical mom bag. So yeah, love this one and couldn't couldn't do a handbag collection without including one of the never fulls. And last but not least, number 12, which is not in any particular order because I love this bag. This is a Chanel Jumbo. Um, this one is in black. It's a classic single flap and it's in the lambskin leather. So lambskin leather is like a bit softer and puffier than the caviar leather. I actually love the feel of lambskin leather. Um, this was my first Chanel Jumbo. I have, it has silver hardware in it, the chain strap. I love it and I, I don't know if I'll get rid of this one, if I'll change it out, but you know, as you can see the jumbo, it's a bit larger. Um, I'll actually show you guys compared to the, so this is the jumbo next to the medium. So you can see it is a bit larger, which is why I ended up going with the medium double flap um, for this one, because I feel like it, it suits me a little bit better. However, I do love the Chanel jumbo as well. I do feel like this is a beautiful classic bag. Um, you can actually wear the straps doubled up this way or you can wear it long. However, for me, you know, as you can see, that is really, really long. So not a very popular way to wear it. Usually I have to wear it this way, um, which is nice, but I still feel like it's not the exact size that I would love. I definitely prefer my medium Chanel, but this is just such a great bag. It does hold so much. So it kind of depends on what you're looking for, you know, where you want the bag to fall. Um, it's just a gorgeous bag. It's very classic. It has this little pocket in the back, which is awesome for the cell phone. And I love it. I may eventually switch this one out and get the 
the black medium flap just because for size purposes I feel like I would use it a little bit more but you know a jumbo is, is a classic gorgeous bag as well so. So I hope you guys enjoyed my top 12 favorite designer handbags in my collection and learned a little something or just enjoyed, you know, seeing some beautiful bags, a little bit of eye candy. Um, I wanted to do this video because I thought it would be fun for those of you who are into designer handbags. Like I said, if you're new here, please check out our other videos and make sure you hit that subscribe button. We make videos um, usually every Mondays and Thursdays. They come out at 7 p.m. Also, make sure you guys follow us over on Facebook as well as Instagram at Mommy's Makeup Moscato. And Christina and I will have lots more videos out together. This is just a little bonus one for you guys. Unfortunately, right now we're practicing safe social distancing, so we weren't able to be in the studio together, but we are finding ways to film together in our separate locations. And create content for you guys. So please let us know down below if you'd like to see more designer handbag type of videos or whatever kind of content you'd like us to make. Until next time, bye.